No, that's a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it the Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and uh, boy lovers have found that kind of nerve, then... We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have the reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. I will kill you. Good luck. Not exactly. Oh. Ah. Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. See? You wanted me. Here I am. I wanted to see what you'd do. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then, you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete. Me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. You see, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. 
See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Where's Dent? You have all these rules, and you think they'll save you. He's in control. I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule you'll have to break to know the truth. Which is? The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight, you're gonna break your one rule. I'm considering it. No, there's only minutes left. You're gonna have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Yeah. You know, for a while there, I thought you really were a dent. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go! Does Harvey know about you and his little bunny? Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney. Or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> you have nothing. Nothing to threaten me with. Nothing to do with all your strength. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you where they are. Both of them. And that's the point. You'll have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street, and she's uh, on Avenue X. That's just a little. Every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. You like Huey Lewis in the news? They're okay. Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. Hey, Albert's Dream. Yes, Alan? Why are there copies of the style section all over the place? Do you, do you have a dog? A little chow or something? <laughs> no, Alan. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. In 87, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square, a song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics, but they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of friends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Ah! Dodge this. Get your name. I got yours, uh, Vincent. Right, but but I, I never got yours. My name's Pitt. 
And your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know how... I just want you to know how sorry we are that, that things got so fucked up with us and, and Mr. Wallace. It, 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 we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You were saying something about best intentions? What's the matter? Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck him. And Marcellus no. Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Brett? Yes. Oh, there's this passage I got memorized. It sort of fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. you are. I'll blow your house in. Flame of Arnor. The dark fire will not avail you. Flame of Uldun! Go back to the shadow. Oh. <laughs> 